Let's now understand and prove convolution in time property of Z transform. We will assume there are two discrete time signals X1N and X2N and the Z transform of X1N is equal to X1Z and the region of convergence is equal to R1 and signal X 2n is having the z transform equal to x to z and the region of convergence is equal to r2. Now if we convolute signal x1n and signal x2n, this means if we perform the convolution in time, we will have signal x1n convolution with signal x2n and for this new signal, the z transform will be x1z multiplied to x2z x1z multiplied to x2z and the region of convergence will be at least r1 intersection with r2 this means roc will be greater than or equal to r1 intersection r2 so this property here we call as convolution in time property or you can call it multiplication in z property now we will try to have the proof of this property we are having signal x1n convolution with signal x2n signal x1n convolution with signal x2n and let's say the z transform of this signal is equal to x dash z and we are required to calculate x dash z and if our calculated x dash z is equal to this then we can say that we have proved the convolution in time property so let's move on to the calculation of x dash z we know it will be equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity the discrete time signal that is x1n convolution with x2n multiplied to z power minus n and we know x1n convolution with x2n will be equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x1k multiplied to x2n minus K. So in the next step, we have summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity and in place of x1n convolution with x2n, we will write summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity signal x1k multiplied to signal x2n minus k and then they are multiplied to z power minus n. Now we will assume that n minus k is equal to m this implies n is equal to k plus m so we will make these changes here and we will have we will have x dash z equal to summation in place of n we will write m m equal to minus infinity to infinity then we have summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity signal x1k x1k multiplied to x to n minus k and in place of n minus k we will write m so we have signal x2 m multiplied to z power minus n and here in place of n we will write k plus m so we have minus k plus m and we can write z power minus k plus m equal to z power minus k minus k multiplied to z power minus m now in the next step we are going to do some rearrangements and we will have summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity i will write signal x1k x1k then I will write z power minus k, z power minus k. Then I will write this summation m equal 
to minus infinity to infinity signal x to m x to m then z power minus m now if you look closely you will find summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity x 1 k z power minus k is the z transform of signal x 1 n that is x 1 z similarly this part is the z transform of signal x 2 n that is x 2 z and they are multiplied so we are getting we are getting the z transform x dash z equal to x1 z multiplied to x2 z we have proved the convolution in time property now we will move on to our ninth property that is multiplication in time and it is clear that we are going to perform the multiplication of x1 n and x2 n and then we need to find the z transform of x1 n multiplied to x2 n so when we multiply signal x1 n and signal x2 n then the corresponding z transform will be equal to 1 over 2 pi j convolution of x1 z and x2 z so you can see that when we multiply the two discrete time signals their corresponding z transforms are convoluted and then divided by 2 pi j and as the z transforms are convoluted we call this property convolution in z domain and if we talk about the region of convergence then it will be greater than or equal to r1 intersection with r2 now proof of this property is homework for you and to have the proof of this property you can refer the multiplication in time property of Fourier transform and after getting the idea from that particular proof you can try to prove multiplication in time property of Z transform.